Okay, well, welcome to the Geek Club and the mad eccentric bugger that resides inside it. Mwah! And today we're doing something different. Don't we always do something different? Well, we're not. We're doing that isn't different is drinking tea. Hmm. Right, today we're going to look at what is possibly the cheapest smartwatch on the market at the time of recording. Because this is the ZG Pax S79, which at the time of recording from Gearbest with 30% off uh, in America land uh, was $25.74, which in real money is just above £17 or £17 10p on the date of recording. Uh, so, yes, possibly the cheapest smartwatch on the market but fortunately I have been using this for a week so I can get a, a fair f feel for it and get used to its quirks and stuff and uh, I can happily report they don't seem to have uh, yeah they seem to have done a good job especially for the money uh, they haven't seemed to cut any corners to make it really you know, build it really cheap it is actually Quite a good watch, so let's have a look at it first. First of all, thing first surprised me when it arrived. It's in a case. Now I've bought other companies for uh, companies. I've bought other watches from Gearbest, which had just arrived in a padded bag wrapped in a little bag itself. But nope, this one came in a box, and despite the sparsity of details on it, uh, I do have two seals on each side. It's no, it's a good quality box with it. Just a little thing that says smart watch, smart life. So let's open the box and just see inside the watch itself. It's just got a bit of dust there from the top. There we go. And uh, as you can see, it is an Apple i, uh, it's an Apple smartwatch phone, Apple iWatch, whatever you want to call it. It's a clone of that basically. And when I've been wearing it at work, it has been mistaken a couple of times for one of them. So, yep, yeah, comes in this nice box. I'll take out the watch itself and we'll look at what it comes with. There we go. That's to one side. Now, under this little compartment here, comes with the uh, <coughs> USB charging cable, which originally came in a bag and was cable tied and all that. And it comes with the user manual, which in the tradition of Chinese manuals is not the best English in the world. It does cover the basics. USB on da -da -da -da. Before use, please read the user manual carefully. Only support the standard battery charger and accessories we approved. We don't take any responsibility for any consequences caused by the use of third party accessories. Prohibit the unauthorized disassembly of watch phone. No mechanical vibrating and shaking. No kicking the screen by tool. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> no using solute to clean the shell, such as benzene thinner or alcohol. No touching the watch phone with corrosive chemicals and so on and so forth. Okay, so the English isn't that bad. Uh, yes. One thing to note about this phone, where it's got the uh, Apple One beat, is this can actually act as an independent phone itself. Yes, you can put a GSM compatible uh, SIM card in and it will become its own phone. <laughs> we'll see that in a minute. Uh, it goes through the things. It's not... Okay, the English, I have to say, is actually on second look. Not too bad. Uh, it does have difficulty explaining itself sometimes. Such as this uh, app which you have to install onto your mobile phone uh, to get it to push notifications to the smartphone. Doesn't really explain where it is on the phone. So, yeah, it covers some of the basics. It's not hugely in detail. So, yeah. You can set it up basically, but you'll be left wandering around trying to find out more about it. So, let's look at the phone itself. And here it is in all its black glory. You can see the reflection of the light there. Ooh, that's nice. Now I've been using this for a week, as I said, and uh, despite the fact this is a... Hang on. <laughs> Getting OCD about marks on it now. <laughs> right, there we go. Nice and clean. Despite the fact this is a plastic screen, uh, 
<coughs> it's not picked up any scratches or anything, and neither has the case, which appears to be metal. Yep, it's a frosted metal case. Uh, on this side, we have the function button, which at first I thought the paint was peeling off, but it wasn't. They'd actually put a little plastic cover on this uh, to protect it during transit and all that. Uh, it has this slot here, which is for your USB. I'll just take that out. Uh, USB is there. Now, this little bit of plastic is one of the machine's downfalls, but well, it wasn't mine when it first arrived because it constantly, it was constantly popping out at one end. Uh, it's still a bit of a pain to get in at times, but it, it stays there. What I found was this end was popping out uh, after the first time I used plug anything into it. Uh, but what I found was too much tension on the rubber end at this bit, so I just stretched that bit a bit and pushed it back in, and it's worked fine ever since. Did have that nick, moulding nick there. It came like that. Uh, there we go, the screen there, and the little tiny, tiny camera there. Tiny camera. The screen itself came with a screen protector which I peeled off, and then I thought, ah, oh, poo, it's not very good quality, the screen's all bubbly. And I was running around with it for a day like that, and I noticed uh, the Ed screen had an, an a second edge to it, so I bravely lifted that up, and it turned out it actually had two screen protectors on it. it had the one you peeled off the label, and then another one. So after that, it's been fine. And your speaker is on that side. It does come with a nice rubber strap, which is really comfortable and uh, doesn't have a cheap feel at all. It's nice. It's actually a really nice strap. Plenty of adjustment on it, and as you can see. No wear marks or anything like that on it thus far. The back is where the magic is. It's plastic cover which you can remove by getting your thumb under here. Try and do this without damaging it. It is a bit of a pain to remove. There we go. But once you're in, you're in. And first thing we got to see is the battery. We take the battery out. Comes out easy enough. And under there is a space for your micro sim. I have not put one in, so I haven't, I haven't looked at that. And a place for an SD card. I've uh, got two gig in here because that's all I need. Just a little bit of music. Uh, but I believe it carries up to 32 gigs. Which is bloody brilliant. For £17. This thing's just £17 delivered. Yes, quite incredible. Imagine if this came out 10 years ago, this would be the dog's bollocks. Right, let's put it all back together. Uh, so there you go. Do, 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 do. Uh, yep, I haven't tried it as an independent phone for, but from those who have uh, they reported that it was no problem so what I'm going to do is put this in the case I think so we've got a better stand for it and we'll power the bugger up I'll be back in a moment right it's having trouble focusing on that at the moment but let's power the bugger up so let's power it up by pressing the button on the side and you get greeted with a bloody awful tune and right because of that effect there I'm going to have to film this I think at a slight angle and there you go it's connected to my watch already uh, yes I went to connect there you go as soon as I've connected to my phone you can see it's uh, updating all its notifications so just try and find the best way to film this. So if I film it like that, you can see all the screens horrible. If I film it at a slight angle, it's going to be much better. So let's cancel that and let's go back to the main screen. So the first thing you're greeted with normally is a nice watch screen. You can flick uh, up, I believe, up, and you'll get different screens. 
doesn't really do that, that's just the camera. Uh, there you go, another one. And so there's three watch faces on this. That's my favourite. It appears to be everybody's favourite who I've seen using this. So there we go. And if we swipe to the right, we start to enter the watch's functions. So, first of all, we have the phone, which allows you to phone people. Uh, if you press this one, you can go into your phone book and you can phone people. Yay, isn't that good? Uh, which is loading from my phone at the moment. Okay, okay. Uh, same phone, press your numbers, and it goes. Da, 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 da. All the usual good stuff. Make sure that angle's right, because there we go. Better. Okay, and get out. Just press that button on the side. And also, goes back to the main screen. Uh, you've got uh, texting. So, you can write message, look at your inbox, draft, outbox and sent messages, service messages, SMS settings ooh back, 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 getting a bit keen there uh, SMS settings, I haven't looked at that, let's have a look memory status, save sent messages, on and off ok that's simple enough, and options, select sim, do do do, alright oh, ok, select your sim, by the looks of it no expert, not a function I really use. But there you go, there's your options. So if I write a message, here's your writing screen. Now, click on it, up comes a keyboard. You've got several options here. You can use this keyboard, which is, in my opinion, the best. You know, it's your classic phone thing where you just press the key the amount what times you want for the right relevant. Uh, the relevant thing. Uh, now at the moment it's guessing me so what I'm going to do is change your options. Now uh, you've got smart ABC, that's smart all capitals, smart lowercase, smart upper and lowercase so you've got capitalization, normal full capitals, normal lower, normal thing. Smart ES, I have no idea what smart ES means. Uh, let's go for normal ABC. So there you go. And you can delete. You can delete. Doesn't want to delete for some reason. There we go. Hmm. Uh, there we go. Right. Uh, and you can choose different keyboards. So you can have a QWERTY keyboard which is all but impossible to use because of the size of it obviously uh, you can have an alphanumeric which is the one I've been using or you can have hand... oh back or you can have handwriting which is exactly what it says on the tin it recognises your handwriting so if I go D D I, if I go da, da, it'll make a suggestion, I again, why, where's my T, hmm, it's still learning, I don't know, but usually it works quite well, it's letting me down today, that's not, oh, it's got a test, <laughs> there you go, so you can use handwriting, and in this little box here, you can draw numbers, Okay, maybe I'm wrong. There you go, number one. So you, you can use handwriting, and usually, it's trying to prove me wrong today, but usually that is quite good at recognizing it. Just a uh, quick clean. Bet you it doesn't recognize it. Oh, right. I had a load of scribble on the screen then. Okay, so we can go back down, close this down, clear, clear everything. Don't want you to go away. Right, and escape that menu. Now, this one, we've got a a step counter, basically, what you call them. I don't know, what, I forgot what you call them now. But it's a step counter, it goes on the vibrations on your wrist. I have tried it, I've done a couple of mile walk with it, and it appears to work fine. Uh, got the distance quite alright, so 
Hmm. Uh -huh. So no big issues there. Ah, it's gone to sleep. So back. Now if you flick, you get the first of the menus come up. Just get this and go right. This camera really doesn't like licking this phone, does it? Oh well. Uh, okay. And here, a start at the top. You've got, I think that's to access the SIM card. Well, see, there's one plugged in. You've got a calculator. Yes, see, right, you got yourself a calculator watch. And that's coming out. No, it isn't. It's just how it looks on the camera. No. Mm. Yeah, it is. Just. Um, Yeah, a bit of a design flow. Right, okay. So, back. And uh, the Bluetooth. You can set your Bluetooth power on. Whether it's visibility, you can set your name. Uh, yes, with the buttons here, you press them. So that says off. Uh, you can, you're thinking, you'd sit there thinking, is that actually off? Or does that mean press this to knock it off. It actually means press it to knock it off, so uh, take that into account when you're using it. Uh, down here, this is the 3D barcode for your phone to scan. You, it then installs an app onto your phone which then pushes your notifications such as you, you know, Facebook, YouTube, emails, they'll all come through on it. We'll look at those in a second, see how, what they're actually like. The only way to get out of that appears to be press the button. Okay, uh, down here. I've done that. Duh. Right. Uh, this is contact, I think. So you've got... It's loading from the watch again. Yep, loads of different people. You can add new contacts, some of these will go to your watch, so it connects with your watch that way. Uh, let's have a look, SIM card, oh yeah, calls, dial calls, receive calls, all calls. I've used this as a watch using a Bluetooth connection, uh, sorry, as a phone using a Bluetooth connection, and I have to report that in most circumstances, it works fine. It's nice and clear. Obviously you get a very, very slight delay with it being Bluetooth, uh, but, Functionality works absolutely fine. Um, right. But I don't know what it's like as a watch, as a phone by itself, but yeah, when it's connected, no dramas. Most of the time. Uh, okay. Calendar. Uh, you can click on stuff. Options. Add. There you go. Subject. You can add things to your calendar. I think, I'm not sure if you can set alarms, start, end. And I don't know why I beeped up with them. Yeah, reminder there. So you can set alarms and stuff. There you go. <laughs> Good, eh? It's quite a handy little thing. If you're willing to be using a screen this size, it doesn't have pinch and zoom, unfortunately. Which would have been handy, but that's probably the next generation. But, you know, take them count, £17, delivered. <laughs> this is where it gets interesting, this is the music section. Now, here, there's your Bluetooth music. Now, I have found, uh, if I go back, disconnect Bluetooth music, yes. Back, go. Options. Uh, back. Haha, <laughs> there's me. That was me testing the camera, honestly. <clears throat> uh, right. Uh, so let's have a look. Some music is actually stored on it and change the volume. There you go, that's fine. But if you want, oh no, no, don't do that, don't do that. Oh god, go away, don't want any copyright strikes on that bugger. But you can go Bluetooth music, it'll connect. 
Now, I have found uh, I have found that when you use the Bluetooth music and it goes to the directory, which is as it should, it doesn't always find the music that's in the directory for some reason. But what you can do instead is just go on your phone, which I'm doing now, I'll just screenshot. Uh, find your music. Uh, audio do, 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 do. and oh, hang on. I'll be right back. I've just got to set this up. Okay, so you can actually just press play on your phone, and it'll go through to the watch, and you can control the volume of that. There you go, from your phone. Uh, There you go. Which is very nice. Uh, you can also set it uh, when you're playing like YouTube movies or videos on the phone. That's the, if the Bluetooth sound is connected, it will actually come out of the watch instead of the phone, which is uh, handy when you're around the house. You're having a bit of a bop if you don't want your main sound system on for any strange reason. I prefer to listen to the sound of a tiny speaker. It's up to you. <laughs> but that's an option you've got. Now, oh, where were we? Uh, we went on that one. Uh, right, we've done that one. We're on this one. Now this... Yes. Sound recorder. Let's have a listen. Hello, how are you? This is fine. We're doing fine. We're recording fine. Ha, huh? very good. So we stop it. Hello, how are you? This is fine. And as you can tell from that, it's uh, very sensitive. Uh, so, play, rename, delete, list, settings, use as. So, there we go. Storage phone, how do your quality? High. So, yeah, that's very handy. Very handy for sneaky beaky sort of stuff. <clears throat> anyway, uh, we also have the camera. Which will record video. Uh, the camera itself is there, and as you can see, it's working. It's it's not the best camera by any stretch of the means of the imagination, but seventeen pound delivered or twenty five dollars. You know, hope that's a notification coming in. Uh, back and on this side. You can take snaps! Happy snappy! It's black and white for some reason at the moment. Maybe the lack of light and spotlights everywhere, but... That's video again, isn't it? Oh yes! So... Back. Back. Aha! Right, there we go. That's a nice colour. Okay, ready, happy snappy! Let's what the options are first. Photos. No files back. Options. Camera settings. Uh, EV. What? EV. Oh, right. Yeah. Brightness. Something. Contrast. Anti flicker. And delay timer. So, there aren't a huge amount of options. But this ain't a huge amount of money. Uh, there you go. That's a picture taken. Options. Let me extend it. Woohoo! Send via Bluetooth. It's a special agent. And what I'll do, I'll put that in the video. Uh, is this asking for. Oh, yes, that's why. Sand accepted it. There we go, done straight away as soon as I accepted it there. And what we can do. I suppose, right, the same thing, options, uh, there we go, camcorder settings, EVO, night mode, put night mode on because, yeah, mm, light balance effect settings, normal grayscale, sepia, sepia green, sepia blue, let's just do sepia blue just for the hell of it, let's not. <laughs> Go to settings, back, 
options. It doesn't go back to this menu, it goes... Huh? Options. White balance effect settings, where are we? Uh, let's go to normal. Options. Uh, storage. Let's save it to the phone. Actually, let's save it locally. Uh, storage. Memory card. Then I can transfer it and put it in the video. So if I record it here. Hello, how are you? Yes. <laughs> you can now have a watch of this. Watch, get it? <laughs> you can now have a look at this in the video. Hello, how are you? Yes. <laughs> you can now have a watch of this. Watch, get it? <laughs> you can now have a look at this in the video. Okay. Now, obviously not the highest quality, but not the highest priced. So, uh, this one, little thing, oh, okay, that's what this does. It, I had no idea what this did because it wouldn't show anything before, but as you can see, it shows me my pictures. Isn't that nice? Uh, okay, and you have the options of viewing, browse style, matrix or list, okay, send, oh, use as, uh, Get off! Right, do that again. Options. Send, use as. We, uh, uh, sometimes. That was a notification coming in. We'll see them in a minute. Uh, let's get back to my menu. Right, options. Use as, rename, delete, sort by. Storage and image information. So 240 by 240 size uh, images. So yeah, you're not going to get Canon DSLR quality, but you know, it's not a Canon DSLR quality, and it's not the point of this thing. All right, settings. You've got common settings. Time and date. It does sync time and date with your uh, phone, so that's not a problem. Schedule powered on. Uh, preferred input method is I hate smart stuff. I just ugh. set that one on me. Right, language you can set loads of languages, but they do tend to set it to the language for you of the country it's going to. Uh, enter standby, uh, screen switch effect. That just, just changes the uh, the way the menus are displayed with the clock and the things around them, but I've found, I prefer this. Uh, LCD black light, change of brightness, get set to just what I want. Actually, I'll turn it up a little bit for this video. There we go. Uh, back, handwriting settings. Pen speed, medium, pen colour. Not a huge amount of settings there. Uh, that's it for common settings. Notification settings. Mm, notification service, on or off, it's on. Messaging, on or off. Call logs, downloads. Oh, excuse me. Notification center on. Oh, it's Oops, it's got disturbed there. All right, call settings. Advanced settings. That's the only settings available. Uh, auto redial, IP dial. Don't know what that is. Somebody put in the comments what that is, please. Uh, call time reminder. So it lets you know how long you've been on once you've finished. And answer mode. Uh, any key. Auto answer when, when he uh, had chat mode. <laughs> yeah, any key on off done. Right, any key will answer it. <laughs> okay, and back. And back. Connectivity. Empty. Don't know what that was. Sorry. Security settings. You can set uh, a phone lock and change the password. But there was a weak spot in this because I can't find where the password is to change it. <laughs> Even log into it, which is a bugger. Uh, restore settings. You'll need the password for that, which I haven't got. 
and it's not any of the obvious ones and over here we have your messages messaging again right next menu we have search uh, I'm not entirely sure what this does and it can never get me keys oh well. yeah I'm not sure what that one does uh, monitoring this is some sort of sleep monitoring thing not use it don't know how it works sorry uh, here we have ah right you've got to on oh, this this will actually hang on make sure it's just reconnect fully uh, oh, just cheating here right okay back back yeah go away right that's my notifications coming through from logging on to the phone there we go this will actually operate the camera on your mobile phone I don't know what it's doing now and you can catch it there we go Ta -da! so uh, this one is an alarm edit yeah there we go it's an alarm it, it, this is what it says on the tin this is your, as I just used, this will connect to your different devices. So I've got Special Agent Steven Twig there. Uh, you disconnect, delete, help. And there you go. Very basic, works, does what it says on the tin. This one is your Bluetooth message. So this is what your notifications will look like. Uh, on the phone you can set it for each individual app to get notifications. And Bluetooth no notification connected to remote device. That's just telling it's connected to the phone. Uh, You'll get them through your, for your Facebook, your emails. Sometimes it will give you a bit of the message as well, uh, depending on the application. Yeah, they'll tell me like some such a body's commented on your post, uh, and the emails. It will tell you've got an email who it's from. It doesn't tell you the contents of the email. Uh, right. So jogger is the jogging man again. Uh, search anti lost. You set this on, and you can get it, it when it loses contact with the phone it will start either beeping vibrating ringing at you whatever you've set on the things there uh, and the sedentary reminder I think this is to remind you to eat or drink if you want uh, could be handy for some people not for me next menu we have sound recorder and image viewer It's another way into the sound recorder there. Uh, image viewer views your images. Exactly what it says on the tin. There is a radio, uh, but you need a Bluetooth uh, headset connected for that to work. You've got search, you can search your memory card built in. So that's the stuff I've got on the memory card. It will actually play v uh, videos as well. They come up small there first. But there you go. Now it actually looks better on the screen than it does on the camera screen at the moment. That's a documentary I put on there to just test it. Uh, oops. Uh, here we have your different settings uh, for your your phones. You know, beeping, so silent, meeting, outdoor, loud. You know. So I just got it set on general. And here you've got. A web browser for when it has its own SIM card in, which obviously you can't do at the moment. And that is it, isn't it? I've done all the menus now. Oh, oh, I have yes, done all the menus. So there you go. That's everything gone through. That is the entire phone. Uh, that's your Bluetooth signal, your mode, and the fact that it's got. I think that's Bluetooth audio and your Bluetooth activate activated sign. Uh, battery. Now, when we first used this, uh, first charge I got about 12 hours. Second charge I got about 15 hours. This is regular use of notifications coming through and general playing with it. Uh, after that, 
I was up for 12, 13 hours yesterday and it didn't drop one bar. So the more you charge us, the better the battery life is going to get. So battery life is quite good and it seems to be getting better all the time on it. Uh, what else? You've seen the pictures, you've seen the videos. So there you go. I think £17. It's well made, well built. Even comes in a case. So, yeah, I generally think, g genuinely think, £17 or $25. If you want a basic smartwatch, it's not going to do all the flashbang stuff for the, you know, the £600 state of the art ones. But it is going to get your notifications through, gives you a calculator, calendar, and all of a few other good, fun things. And, yeah, £17. It's well made. You can't really go wrong. So, have you got one of these? Or are you looking for one? Or have you got any questions? Or what you think of it? Let me know in the comments. And if you like these sort of videos, and want to see more of these sort of videos, then feel free to subscribe to the channel. And uh, if you want to talk to us on social media, too, the links are below. So, that's the GZ Pax S79 smartwatch. Just £17 or $25 delivered. Hardly. And for the money, really good. Impressed. So thank you all. Fair. How much? You need to quit being dirty. You're a dirty boy.